Hey guys, um, Mariah here again. Okay, so this morning I woke up really excessively worried, and I do that often. One second, let me make sure you guys can hear me. So yeah, I do that often, and as a believer in Christ, we're called not to worry. And so I talked to my husband, I talked to the Lord, and I got word right in his word. So I'm going to share what I read today, and don't worry, it'll be quick. I'm not a preacher, <laughs> but it's pretty good. Um, I'm in Luke 12, 22. Pull your Bibles out. This is mine. Isn't it pretty? I'm such a girl. <laughs> it's a new King James Version. So, if you'll please go to Luke 12, 22. We'll start. So, it says in my... Then he said to the disciples, Therefore I say unto you, do not worry about life what you will eat, nor about the body, what you will put on. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which have neither storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And it's really easy to just read over passages that you kind of understand in the Bible. But you really have to stop and understand exactly what God is saying. I mean, of course we know birds pretty much take care of themselves. You know, no one has to go out and feed them, even though some people do. No one has to. They have instinct. They are going to find food or they are going to die. But God says he takes care of them. And I'm sure he's not picky for birds. So that means all of the animals on earth God takes care of. He gets them exactly what they need when they need it. And here we are worried that we won't get exactly what we need when we need it. So let's keep reading. And which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? And if then you are not able to do the least, why are you anxious for the rest? <laughs> Jesus can be pretty funny. I mean, he's right, though. After you've had a whole pity party, invited all your girlfriends, called your ex-boyfriend by mistake, all of that, at the end, you'll still be worried. You'll still be scared about the situation, whatever the situation is for you. We're all in the middle of that situation that's scaring the crap out of us. And we're worried. But God says we can't even add one cubit to our stature. We can't add anything to anything that we have, and we can't take away from anything that we don't have by worrying. It's just not for us. It's not for us. He even goes on to say, if you're not able to do the least, then why are you anxious for the rest? If we're really serious about ourselves, we can't do anything without God. And he's saying, if you can't do that, why are you worried? It's not like you could do it by yourself. He's got it. He's got it. Okay, so we're going to jump down to um, I like where we are. We're just going to jump down to Luke 12 and 28 and that'll be the end. Um, if then God so clothes the grass which today is in the field and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you? O oh, ye of little faith. I know reading words 
out of some book to some people may not do much but we have to understand that God is the creator of the universe the author and the finisher of our faith of my faith and I I can't sit around and be helpless and hopeless that's just a bad mix I gotta believe in something and I'm glad I believe in the right something or someone because he says right here he's not he's not picky he's not moody he's not rude God says he, it's within his power to take care of birds in the air and lilies of the field grass grass who takes care of grass <laughs> God does even though he knows that the very next day it'll be cut it'll be treated it'll be stomped on muddied whatever he takes care of it and we have to believe that he will take care of us as well it really does not matter because you have to think about it like this Whatever it is that is scaring you, that is creating worry in your heart, is it so big that it'll it'll scare God? Is it something God can't take care of? It's not. It's not, and it will never be. And I know we're going through some tight things. But we can't worry. It's going to happen or it's not. And either way that it does happen was God's plan. It was and is exactly how he had it to be from the beginning. Sometimes we're up and we get to relax and be comforted. And sometimes we don't. Sometimes it's a learning lesson. Let's not worry. We got to work on that. I got to work on that. I got to be better. I can't wake up worried every day. The devil doesn't get that kind of victory over my life. And it's probably a time for me to get ready for biochemistry. So y'all pray for me. I would be praying for myself. <sighs> See you guys.